I only coached girls basketball once. I've always coached boys. I don't know how long ago it was. Probably eight, seven, eight years ago. I coached girls basketball. And I show up the first day, and, and, and it's not meant to be sexist, but boys that I had coached in the past sort of have an expectation that we'll get to work and we'll go, we'll be competitive and we'll work on getting better and all that. Well, this particular group of girls, I was a new coach. I show up the first day and they're giggling and wandering around. They're talking about going shopping, going to the makeup counter at the mall and all this stuff. And then in the next breath, they're complaining about how they had only won three games in the last four years. And that's when I said to them, I said, you know, you need to understand that concept of a hokey pokey. And that is the only way that we are going to get better collectively and individually is if we put our whole self in. Too often in life we want to just put our right elbow in and shake it all about. The hokey pokey is all about, I have to be fully invested. And I know as a leader, if I'm fully invested, if I'm fully invested in this presentation, if I bring some passion to that, then I might get something back from you as an audience. But if I just show up today and say, well, you know, I got, what have I got, 45 minutes of this, and I'll just say this, and I'll read that, and I'll get out of here. And more often what I'm seeing now, and, you know, I'm not meant to be negative today, but you know, young people, they, they just want to get their right foot, their left arm. And I say, if you want to get somewhere and get something back, be fully invested. Think about the hokey pokey because the world's going to tell you something different. Say, do a little bit, expect a lot. Do a little bit, expect a lot. I suggest you do it the other way around. Fully invest. Because that's where the greatest payback comes for me. If I fully invest myself in my marriage, my parenting with my kids, uh, any one of the jobs that I have, what I, what, what I learn and get back from that is tremendous. But if I don't put much in, then I'll just, the last thing I'll say about that coaching experience is, I mean, you know, a long story short, it's like the made for TV movie. We won 10 games our first year. We made it to the district finals and we lost to the, the number one seed by three points. And I had 13 girls in the locker room just crying their eyes out. And those, those are great tears because they were fully invested. Prior to that, you know, they were all about taking off for like Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving and all that. I couldn't understand. I was the first coach in history that ever had uh, practice with a girls team on Black Friday. They just thought I was the devil himself. But it hurt and it was a good hurt because they had invested so much in it. They had lost so many games before and, 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 and never cared. But the more you put something into it, that's a good hurt. Because before that hurt, there was tremendous joy. We won three tournament games. We had beat the best team in our league. It's all good.